And we got 644 now on this Wednesday morning. A live look outside towards the aerial lift bridge. Or actually, that's Bayfield now. Live look outside towards Bayfield. Not a bad way to start off our Wednesday morning. You can see plenty of sunshine out there to kick off our day. South Shore right now, they're waking up in the 40s. We got the 50s, though, for us right now. That is on top of the hill, at least. And we got 51 on top of the hill at Duluth International. Partly to mostly cloudy skies overhead. Winds out of the east still between 5 and 15 miles per hour. That does mean another day where we're going to be cooler by Lake Superior yet again. As I mentioned, generally 40s along the south shore, 41 in Ironwood, 46 Ashland, 47 right now Superior. We got 52 Solon Springs, 52 as well, two harbors, 50 right now Grand Marais. 54 Ely, 51 Hibbing, also 54 Orr, 55 in Big Fork, 57 right now International Falls. Satellite radar scanning things dry across the region. Maybe a few stray rain showers out there earlier this morning. I know as I was heading out the door earlier this morning, around 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning, I did see a few raindrops on the car. But right now, for the most part, we are mainly dry out there. But we do still have a few of those clouds out there. And I think we'll probably have a good amount of clouds at least through the morning hours today. You can see Steve Futurecast also picking up on a few rain showers. I think Futurecast, this model particularly, probably overdoing that rain chance just a little too much. Probably more in terms of sunshine here as we head through the afternoon as well as the evening hours today. Again, probably not the best opportunity for a few showers, but maybe a few here and there. But for the most part, we should be staying mainly dry for our day tomorrow. Again, waking up with partly cloudy skies overhead. Probably more in terms of sunshine making its arrival as we head towards tomorrow afternoon as well as tomorrow evening. As a matter of fact, I think most of Thursday featuring mostly sunny skies overhead. Also, we're also slowly starting to lose some of that smoke and wildfire haze. You can see, while we had a good amount of it earlier this week, now that's starting to back off a little bit. It's not completely gone by any stretch of the imagination, but I think you're only talking about just that kind of white, milky haze to the sky, kind of not making so the sky is not a perfect blue, but just a little milky as you head out the door for both today as well as the day on Thursday. The good news is that is not presenting any air quality concerns. No air quality warnings up for the North Island at all. But there is a frost advisory up. That's up for Gogeba County in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. That actually runs through tomorrow morning because, well, some places tonight they could fall back into the 30s. More on that in just a second. But first, for your afternoon highs today, most places talking 50s and 60s on the Lake Superior shoreline. Upper 60s, low to mid 70s elsewhere across Northland. As I mentioned, maybe a few 30s tonight. For the most part, we're staying in the 40s and 50s on the Minnesota side of things. But take a look into northwest Wisconsin along the south shore out towards Gogeba County. Maybe a few mid to upper 30s. That's why we have that frost advisory up for Gogeba County through tomorrow morning. But as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, temperatures begin to rebound once again. For the most part, most of us should be talking about the upper 60s and low to mid 70s for afternoon highs tomorrow. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Not a bad looking seven day. We're gradually going to begin to warm things up, all of us, as we head towards Friday. Even those closer to the lake should be generally talking 70s and 80s for our day here on Friday. A hair cooler by Lake Superior for both Saturday and Sunday, especially by the lake. And then as we head towards next week, both Monday and Tuesday looking pretty good. Upper 70s, lower 80s, partly to mostly sunny skies overhead. Paul?